Hi, it's Steve and you join me on a late evening planning session looking at some maps for a trip to Dartmoor. And I want to think about maps and I want to think about the Bible. And I've got a paper copy of the Bible with me. So let's jump in and see what kind of lessons that God's really been speaking to me about maps and everything else. Now in my left hand, I've got a really pristine copy of this Dartmoor map. It's a new map. And in my right hand, I've got a really well hammered version of the Dartmoor map. And that's because it's been really, really well used. In fact, in some places you can hardly read it, uh, which isn't exactly helpful. But I wonder what your relationship is with the Bible. I wonder if your Bible is really well used or whether it's in really pristine condition. Maybe that's a challenge for you. The Bible was written by man, inspired by God for us, to help us in our life. So if we don't use it, we miss out. Something to think about. And the second thing is, if I've got a map and I want to, uh, perhaps I want to go to Helvellyn, which is quite a nice place in the Lake District. If I want to go there, I need to open the map. But not just open the map, I need to open the right map. That would be useful. Sometimes I've gone out on a walk and I've actually taken the wrong map, uh, which isn't been very helpful. But if I wanted to go to Helvellyn, I want this map and I want to open it up and I want to see where I'm going. And that's really useful when we think about the Bible, because sometimes when we look in the Bible, it tells us about where we're going, where we're at and what God's doing in our life. So maybe you just need to open your Bible, but then we don't just open it. We really need to know where we are. When I recently went to the Cairngorms, I found myself in a whiteout. A whiteout is when the snow and the ground kind of meet and you can't really see anything. It was really important that I knew where I was. And so I had to have the right map. I had to have it open and I had to actually keep my finger on where we were at all times so we could find out where we were when things got a little bit choppy and rough. And one way to do this was by using my compass. Now a compass combined with a map is a really useful tool, but only if you know how to use it. And sometimes we open the Bible and we don't really know how to use and to understand God's word. And God wants to speak to us, not just by us skimming over the Bible, but really deep diving in, getting stuck in, understanding, knowing where we are, and knowing how to read the Bible. The Bible is one complete book. The Old Testament reflects the New Testament and the New Testament reflects the Old Testament. Ultimately, it's all about Jesus. And that's a really, really important thing. So when we come to our maps, we need to have them open. We need to have them used. We need to know where we are because the Bible will also give us direction just in the same way that I can find my way with a map uh, here, a map and a compass, just in that same way, I can find my way through life when I look through the Bible. So maybe the challenge is for you to get open your Bible, to get into your Bible, ask God to really reveal himself uh, to you and ask God to show you what's going on in your world and to give you direction. And you can't get a better place than the Bible. So Father, help us as we deep dive into your word speak to us by the Holy Spirit. Lord, we plan our course, but God, you direct our steps. So I pray that for each one of us. Amen.